All right, the last part we're going to do is um, the Holy Spirit, grieving the Holy Spirit. Because this was the part that we just got new revelation for. I had this section. That's why this is really awesome, especially the people that have been here before. Who came to the first time I did this? Okay, are you seeing that there's new stuff we have this time? Yeah. So every time, we, the Lord wants us to do this at least twice a year. I don't know if it'll be more, but minimum twice a year. And so since the last time, we, he's given us so much more revelation. So every time you come, you can get more stuff cleaned out. You can know how to pray for people. So, grieving the Holy Spirit. This was another time. I realize a lot of times I've been with Sylvia, so it must be with us being together that the Holy Spirit really drops it for us. <laughs> drops a bomb of information. So, we were praying one time for this person, and the Holy Spirit kept telling us that this family line had grieved the Holy Spirit. It was so intense that the three of us were crying. I had never really been through that before, but it was such a grief and a pain. We could feel that grief of the Holy Spirit. So it really has made me understand that better. I really wasn't 100% clear of that grieving of the Holy Spirit. But um, it was powerful. So there's probably been a lot of people in our family line that may have grieved the Holy Spirit, especially if you've been in churches where they don't believe in the move of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So with that said, we did a land assignment um, Monday on the bridge where they do the voodoo. So with that, on Sunday night, I knew we were going to be doing the land assignment. I was driving home from healing rooms, and uh, the traffic was stopped on River Road. Well, the next thing I see is a policeman that has an alligator on a leash walking the alligator from the church parking lot across the River Road back to the Mississippi River. So I said, okay, I know God doesn't do anything you know, without a reason. I mean, why would I be stopped by an alligator on a leash? <laughs> I know this means something, Lord. It's too crazy. It was like 9 o'clock at night. So I started looking up what an alligator means. So throughout looking for this, I find out about this Leviathan spirit, which lives in the water. Do we have any water around here? <laughs> Maybe a little bit? So I start researching about the Leviathan spirit. And sure enough, it says in there, it's Job 41. Could you shoot him full of arrows and like a pin cushion or drive harpoons into his huge head? If you so much as lay a hand on him, you won't live to tell the story. What hope would you have with such a creature? Why, in one look at him, would you do in? Would do you in? If you can't hold on your own against your, if you can't hold your own against his glowering vision, how then do you expect to stand up to me? Who would confront me and get by with it? I'm in charge of all of this. I run the universe. But I have more to say about Leviathan, the sea beast, his enormous bulk, his beautiful shape. Who would even dream of piercing that tough skin or putting those jaws into bit and bridle? And who would dare knock at the door of his mouth, filled with row upon row of fierce teeth? His pride is invincible. Nothing can make a dent in that pride. Nothing can get through that proud skin. Impervious to weapons and weather, weather, the thickest and toughest of hides, impenetrable. You know what I said. Yeah. Is that enough? That's good. Okay, so you're getting the gist of it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I get it, Lord. We need to pray against the spirit of Leviathan. So what it says is that um, Leviathan, because of the closeness of its scales, that it doesn't allow the wind to go through. 
What's the win? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. So think about all the churches that are not allowing the Holy Spirit to move freely. And what is that akin to? Pride? Pride. Yes. Absolutely. So, um, and with the spirit of pride is also, it's tied to like that serpent spirit, that python spirit. So when there's been like pride throughout your family line, or you can even think about it in some churches where there's been pride and the Holy Spirit hasn't been allowed to move, it's like um, a spirit of death. That python comes and constricts it and just sucks the life out of it. So when um, they also had a part in there um, about the, the oil slick. See, when they had the oil in um, the Gulf of Mexico, because it says that it leaves an oil slick or foaming oil, I can't remember exactly. But we had prayed, the Holy Spirit had told us back then to pray against the Leviathan in the um, Gulf of Mexico. So, in fact, I remember that we wanted to pray for you, Kim, because uh, she had some stuff from the Gulf oil spill. So we're going to, um, and it also has to do, too, with the Queen of Heaven gives power to Leviathan. So we do have the Queen of Heaven ruling here uh, through different prayers. And if that's the Jezebel spirit, too. So all of this is really has to do a lot with pride and the lack of the movement of the Holy Spirit in churches, which is why we have such a big thing of division in this city between the churches. So we're going to repent as a group for that. Yeah? It's also called a water spirit. Yeah. And well, our ancestors wanted so badly to go back to Africa. They actually made up. Hold on a second. Can you come up here? Because which, what she's talking about, this also, when we did the voodoo ritual, um, praying against the voodoo, we found such, uh, you know, like with this spirit, there were so many things within the church system that matched up to the voodoo the way they did it. Because in voodoo, they believe that you can't have access to the Lord, that he had to have a mediator. And don't some churches teach that? That you have to go through the pastor, the priest, that you can't just have the Lord? So it's kind of similar in a lot of ways. So what she's saying, I know, because we just did this and prayed about this. Even with the, the Catholic Church and the, yes. the water, they're constantly renewing their covenant with the water spirit. Yes. So you wanted me to repeat yes. it? Yes, repeat it. The water spirit. Um, our ancestors wanted so badly to go back to Africa they made blood covenants with the water spirit. And this is why you find a lot of um, a lot of people that are in poverty. And um, we're also mixed together now. You can't say whose ancestors, black, white, or whatever, because we're just a big gumbo here in Louisiana, especially. So um, that's the just of it. And she, she, you do deliverance, right? She has, she's in a deliverance ministry. So because we are so close to water here, I think that this has been one of the things that's been hidden here because we have done a land assignment on the voodoo years ago, but the, this wasn't revealed, this Leviathan. So this is something the Lord really wants to um, work through people, and we're going to be probably one of the first groups that's going to pray this in the city. But it can free our city because we're surrounded by water. And even one time, I didn't even know about this yet, but the Lord did have me pray when I was walking, you know, at the uh, boat launch here. They have a path. And he did have me pray about the Leviathan spirit. And I didn't really know what it was, but I did pray in the lake, you know, and bind it. So we're going to do this together, and then we're going to do you. Okay, Kim? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and repent for our family lines for the grieving of the Holy Spirit, and then we're going to go into the part of Leviathan, okay? Say, Father, Father please forgive, please forgive myself, myself and my family line, my family line for, anyone for anyone that grieved the Holy Spirit. 
Forgive us, Lord, for any time I or my family line blamed you for things the enemy did. Forgive me and my family line for all false doctrine and quenching the Holy Spirit. Forgive us for aligning with a spirit of Leviathan, a spirit of pride, a spirit of hard-heartedness, a spirit of stiff necks, a spirit of the Queen of Heaven, a spirit of false gifts, a spirit of arrogance, all mind-blocking spirits, all distracting spirits, all rebellious spirits, all vanity, and false gods, and hindering spiritual growth. Forgive us, Father, for all these things. And we repent for the land and all the belief systems of the Leviathan spirit in our land and our kingdom. Cleanse the land with the blood of Jesus and heal it with the stripes. Cleanse my family line with the blood of Jesus and heal it with the stripes. Thank you, Lord, that me and my family line are redeemed. Thank you, Lord. And say, I give the Holy Spirit permission to flow freely in my life. Freely in my home. Freely in my ministry. And to prompt me of ways I can help him in other areas. Thank you, Lord. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is to just place our families and ourselves under the new blood covenant now that we've done all this cleaning. And you're, you're probably going to get some more stuff from the Holy Spirit of what he wants to have um, prayed for, if there's anything that we didn't touch on today. So now you know how to do it. And I want to thank Michelle for all the video work and her son for helping out. Thank you, Alejandro. Did I say that? Hmm. He said yes. So, Kelly. Okay. I didn't. I didn't say anything. So, when you, after you do all this cleansing of your family line, and anytime you pray with anybody that does a lot of work, you know, repenting of things, there's a couple things you really need to do after. We need to call in the Holy Spirit to fill all these empty spaces now because now our vessel is clean. Yeah. And I don't know who's heard of um, <laughs> um, Dolores Winder that had a miracle healing from Catherine Coleman. She actually lives here. I think she still lives here. Um, she says in her book, you know, that she leaks. So she needs to keep being refilled with the Holy Spirit. I kind of like that too. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then the other part that I find is very important to do that the Holy Spirit told me to do is always to then decree and declare over our family lines that Jesus Christ is Lord. So we're going to do that too and then take communion. Okay? So say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit please come. 
and fill, and fill all, the empty spaces. all the empty spaces. I want to be filled with you, Holy Spirit. Say, give me more. Empower me more. Show me more. Teach me more. And nurture me more. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say, Lord, I decree and declare over my family line that Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe in my heart that is risen from the dead. And I believe and receive the abundant life that Jesus died to give me and my family. I believe in the word that those who call on the name of the Lord will be saved, both them and their household. I'm expecting for my household to be saved. And I'm releasing the goodness of God to every member of my household. Because I know that is what brings men to repentance. So thank you, Lord. I now place myself and my family line under the new blood covenant. 